and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning back in. Today I am starting a new little series on my YouTube channel because I've got a series going on TikTok, the What I'd Wear, which you guys love. And then I have just recently started my IGTV series today. I'm posting my first one tonight, although this video will come out later. Anyway, so that one is how to wear it. So it's like styling advice, just giving you an in-depth guide on how I style my outfits. And then I just wanted to come on here on YouTube and kind of extend the What I'd Wear videos from TikTok because I get a lot of requests from you guys to do specific characters from shows and I thought well maybe if I go to YouTube then I can kind of make it a little more in-depth I can talk about the characters and why I styled them this way and so that way it's kind of a mix between what I'd wear if I was in that TV show or if I was that character as well as how to wear it because I'm also telling you why I've styled it that way. So I hope you enjoy this lookbook. I'll be posting these videos every Friday night, so make sure you've subscribed if you haven't already, and make sure you hit the bell for notifications every time that I post. The first video I'm doing is Clueless. I know you guys probably thought I was gonna do Mean Girls, but I've got a really cool package from Glassons coming in the next few days, and I really wanted to use some of those pieces in the Mean Girls video, so that'll be next week. But make sure you tell me what else you want to see down below, and they will come after next week. Clueless is one of my all-time favorite movies. I love the fashion. Who doesn't? It is iconic. Some of those looks are just amazing, and so relatable now. I feel like lots of those 90s trends are really coming back in now with the plaid skirts, with the big blazers. I think it's all just coming back. Everyone wants to be back in the 90s, even though most of us weren't exactly alive. I mean, I was alive for three years, but like, I don't remember that. The storyline is adorable. We love it. It's just an all time fave. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So first up, we've got the leading lady, Cher Horowitz. She is a rule breaker, a trendsetter, and an absolute icon when it comes to her fashion. She often keeps her hair quite simple and lets her clothes do the talking. We see her in a lot of plaid, blazers, button-ups, and all of the styles that she wears tend to be of a shorter length. If she ever needs to cover up, she just adds knee-high socks. I see Cher as a super sweet and innocent character even though she is strong-willed and very intelligent. She's naive, but that tends to be her charm. So I decided to pair together this purple plaid blazer and skirt set from Kukai to emulate her matching yellow plaid set from the first day we see her at school. Because she is such a sweet character, I matched the set with this lolly pink bodysuit from Meshki. It's almost like a second skin feel, so it's a really comfortable way to brighten up the outfit even more and also sit really nicely when tucked into the skirt. Keeping my hair straight like Cher's, I added gold hoops to dress up the outfit as well as these nude pointed heels from Novo. Usually she wears the knee high socks and some enclosed flats, but with the more tailored style of this set, I felt it was more appropriate to go with a simple nude heel and let the clothes do the talking. Lastly, I added this black misguided faux crocodile skin mini bag because mini bags were all the rage in the 90s and have totally made a comeback in 2020. The next Cher outfit is heavily inspired by her shopping outfit, the main piece being this oversized black blazer from Glassons. Oversized blazers are so on trend at the moment and I really don't think they will be going anywhere anytime soon. I paired it with this high neck white tank from Kukai, which is a similar material to the bodysuit, so it sits really well and firm when tucked into bottoms. I'm wearing this black and white gingham front slit mini skirt and instead of adding the knee high socks I decided to make it a little more 2020 and wear these patent square toe knee high boots. These are from Nastigal but I swear when Prada made some similar boots last year the fashion world went crazy over them and I am very much still very crazy about them. The next character is Cher's best friend Dee. We love Dee, she's a bit edgy, she's strong, she stands up for herself and I love that her fashion sense is actually quite similar to Cher's but she really does make it her own, like you can definitely tell the two apart whether it be through her colour schemes or how she accessorises with big hats or headscarves. I wanted to emulate her first outfit we see her in which is the black white and red plaid set with the hat. I wish I had a hat like hers but instead I just worked with this black fedora. I paired this red long sleeve waffle top from Glassons with this black, white and yellow plaid pleated skirt from Factory. Then I added the black knee high socks and these black V mules from Forever New to dress up the outfit a little. 
Black flats totally could have been worn, but if I were to wear this outfit out in public, I'd probably go with the heels to lengthen my legs and ultimately look more flattering. I also added this black semicircle shaped crossbody bag from Forever New just to play with the rule of thirds, having a black hat, black bag, and a black socks slash shoes. <laughs> the next outfit that I love of Dee's is the fitted sweater dress with the button up underneath. I think it is so preppy and sweet. She always goes for those darker colors, so I decided to again make it a little more 2020 and wearable, although I would totally wear her version out in public. So I took this black ribbed high neck sweater dress from Glassons and I paired it with this thick black headband from Colette, just like Dee, and again the black knee high socks with the mules from Forever New. I also wore the gold hoops to dress up the outfit some more, and I actually love how this outfit came together. It's nothing too fancy, but it's still enough to make a statement and still give off that 90s vibe. The next character we have is Ty. She is so cute, so dorky and goofy, she's clumsy, but she is so sweet. She's a tomboy at heart, and even after her glow up, you can still see that in her outfits. So for her first outfit, I tied together this white crew neck t-shirt with this ribbed lilac button up cardigan from Glassons. Ty wore heaps of cardigans, so I thought it was just natural to wear it in this outfit. They're also really in season at the moment, like no matter where you are in the world, everyone is wearing a cardigan right now. She often had her hair up, so I tied mine up in a loose ponytail with this oversized white scrunchie from Glassons. Since she is a bit of a tomboy and enjoys dressing down a bit, I decided to pair the sweet cardigan and scrunchie with a leather mini skirt from Chic and also these pink Converse's. To me, this just felt like a less preppy and a bit more goofy like tie, but still very much like she's had her makeover and she's got the girls keeping an eye on her fashion, kind of like she's just negotiating what she is and isn't allowed to wear. Her next outfit was a little girlier, so I wore this two-piece jacket and skirt tweed set from Review. I felt as though the neckline and the shape of the jacket were really similar to what she wears and I thought it was really sweet. I paired it with this hot pink short sleeve knit from Glassons as well as the pearl headband to really girlify the outfit. For shoes, I just wore the nude patent pointed heels again to again let the clothes do the talking. When there is already a fair bit of colour happening up top, I think either nude or black are best for footwear. The nude also elongates your legs so that's a tip if you ever want to create the illusion of longer legs, wear nude heels. The last character we're looking at today is Amber. Good old Amber. When I think of Amber, I think of faux fur and fluffy textures. I think of OTT always. I think of layers, looking outside the box, and lots of two-toning. So for her first outfit, I decided to wear this leopard print mini dress from Nastigal and pair it with this big leopard print faux fur coat from Dish. She is a bit edgier, so I put this fishnet black choker on with the black headband and some smaller gold earrings as I thought it might have gone a little too overboard if I put a statement earring there. Because she is edgier, I paired it all with these black pleated faux leather boots and that is the outfit. Her last outfit was too tonal and fluffy again, so I paired this frilly light pink spotty set with this pink fluffy hoodie from Topshop as well as the pink fringed earrings from Kakai and this mini dome bag from Kate Spade. I wanted to make sure that I kept the footwear versatile amongst all of these outfits, so again I'm wearing the nude patent heels, but if you wanted to edge it up a bit, you totally could have gone with the black boots. I would just like to preface that I don't usually wear my hair in two plaits like this, but dang, it was such a throwback to primary school. To me, they really gave that vibe of the rich girl at school, which is what Amber definitely portrays herself to be. She sticks to her own lane when it comes to fashion and doesn't let anyone have a say about what she does and doesn't wear. And although it might be a little out of my comfort zone, it's kind of empowering to wear something that you think is pretty cool, even if it is somewhat out of the ordinary. So I guess I will leave you with that. Thank you for watching this little lookbook. I'm thinking the next one I will try to film in a bigger space so that we can see the outfits a little better. So let me know down in the comments what you would like to see after Mean Girls next week. And make sure you like, subscribe and hit the bell for post notifications. And I shall see you next week. Bye!